here's something I have done that I, that I will say, and I haven't seen anything of it yet. I have used uh, my own um, spit on the nano coated, and I did see a dramatic increase in the DC voltage at that point. Yes, because you block, uh, you transfer everything into the plasma condition. The reason you see AC in your sandwich is because you transfer the plasma energy, which is a DC, to AC through resistance across the layers. Right. AC appears. AC appears only when there is an interaction in the matter condition. Your DC, whatever you see DC, no increase in AC is the condition of the plasma. So all the energy transfer is in plasma, plasmatic condition. Right, and because this it was a human's point. bodily fluid, it would have been <coughs> basically pure plasma. Yes. yes, that's why you see increase in this. Understand the process. This is what I try to explain. Understand the process, then you can add to the knowledge. Um, your AC only comes when the gravitational magnetic fields have to go through a matter barrier. It goes so much up and down till it finds a way through. It's very much like a, a miner. Uh, you hit a stone, you go around the stone till you can get behind the stone. That to me, this is what AC is, that's what the frequency is. Till you find a way that you can penetrate. And uh, in a plasma condition, you don't need penetration. We have an AC in a plasma, from one plasma to another. But that's a plasmatic AC, is beyond man's understanding. It's far beyond man's understanding at this point. The same as you have, AC in a material condition. What is the frequency? Why do you get the sinusoidal wave? That you can penetrate. You find where you can penetrate. How you can penetrate from one atomic structure into another. We have the same thing in the plasma. You will see it. You will see huge AC currents in the interaction of the plasmas. But you're too, too, what do you call it? In, is, this is very too early stages. Well, you I was thinking to. about using a capacitor to change the, the plasma into a electron like that we can use for power. The easiest way to do it is a rechargeable battery. Yes, I have used if a rechargeable do, battery and charged it with this device. Yes, if you, if you use a rechargeable battery, um, because the rechargeable batteries have both AC capacity and a DC capacity. So, when they absorb the DC as a plasma, because of the physical matter structure in the battery, they convert part of it into the, into, um, what do you call it, AC current. You can tap on both. This we shown years ago, the, but the capability of the plasma reactors on AC and DC.